Firstly, this game is pronounced Magus. I thought it was Magus because I didn't know anything about this game. And can you blame me? Did anyone realize this even came out? Before we get started here, I think it's important to know that this is a PS3 game from 2014. 2014, people. If you think this is a retro review and I'm doing an early PS2 release title, you'd be wrong. I swear, it has trophies and everything. Alright, I understand if you don't believe me. Let's move on with the review anyways. You're presented with a boring but pretty cinematic that sets the tone, gears you up, and sets your expectations pretty high, followed by... <clears throat> <coughs> This title screen. This is only the first offensive piece of user interface in your dark and hopeless future. I assure you things will become less and less polished as we go until the game looks like soot. At certain junctions the game attempts story and dialogue that admittedly has some ideas going for it that were simply wasted with bad writing. The player character has no voice acting and the dialogue choices don't actually change anything. Then there's the gameplay, which I can summarize pretty quickly. It's a sloppy third person shooter. You map specials to three buttons that use that color of MP. They unlock as you level up and distribute points. I think the game really wanted to be an action RPG, but that was probably too much work. Big up keys to progress through levels that get less imaginative as you play. Kill everyone to proceed, usually. Eventually, equipment and leveling up means nothing because you can dump all the stats of every item you pick up onto your character permanently. I played through most of the game on easy. Bosses died about 4 seconds slower than regular enemies. On hard it was also 4 seconds. The laziness is shown everywhere as I've explained. Just look at this generic Windows scroll bar. If you get the DLC, assuming it's still even available, you can pretend you're playing as Goku in a third person single player version of Quake 3 Arena with all the guns except the Hyper Blaster taken out. And that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Oh, I'm just trying to find some good in the bad. The game really is garbage, but at least it's an easy platinum trophy. This was a game that I casually streamed on my personal channels that won't be made into a video series. If you'd like to catch those exclusive streams, be sure to subscribe on YouTube or Twitch, or like the Facebook page for video releases and stream announcement. Links will be in the description.